Welcome to the installation assistance video for the Fluidmaster lever operated dual flush valve. We will now demonstrate the step by step installation process. Make sure we've got all the tools necessary, so the appropriate wrenches, the screwdrivers, and we have all the parts to fit into the system. So we've got the filling valve, the flushing valve, and the toilet connections. What we'll also need is a sponge and a towel. Okay, so we'll start in case of ceramics, carefully remove the lid and put that to one side. We're now going to fit the flushing valve to the cistern. So we take the flushing valve and we undo the nut. Make sure this seal is intact and inside the cistern. Place the flushing valve through the central hole and then take a coupling plate with these grooves pointing downwards and place it over the thread. Then attach your back nut And tighten. Make sure this plate is square to the back wall of the system when you tighten the nut. Hold it in place and tighten. Hand tight and then further tighten with a wrench. Okay now we're going to fit the system to the pan. So what we need is our bolt set and our gasket washer. So firstly, put the gasket washer around the thread and around the nut and make sure it's in place and sat nice and snug. Secondly, we get our bolts. We line the squares with the slots in the plate and then carefully lift the cistern and lower in place so the bolts will go through the two holes in the cistern like that. We then take the washer and the wing nut. So we tighten the wing nuts down Tighten alternative sides to get even compression on the gasket. So now the cistern is secure, we're going to connect the water supply and fill the cistern. So we take our isolating valve, and screw it onto the inlet thread of the filling valve. Tighten that, appropriate wrench, bit of a tweak to tighten and turn the water on and allow the cistern to fill. So now we've installed our flush valve, let's install the lever. Left hand thread and we have a rubber washer here. So that will fit inside the front hole of your ceramic. Left hand thread means it's the opposite way to what you normally would tighten things. So we tighten it back towards ourselves instead of away. Make sure the lever is horizontal and hand tighten to secure in place. We then have a locking mechanism which will fit in four different directions. This instance will have it vertical. Push it on with the clip down, release the clip as we can see it's fully secured and we push down for a full flush or we push up for a half flush. So if you feel you're flushing too much water and you want to reduce the amount of water that you're flushing, we can make some adjustments to the flush valve. Very simply, we can twist the whole valve so that unbayonet's out of the system. And here we have an adjuster for the full flush. So down, we can increase the flush volume. Up, we can decrease the flush volume. So we can play around with that. For the half flush, we have an adjustment on the opposite side. The down is for more up is for less. Once we've got the desired amount, simply re at the valve, twisting it back in, and making sure the cable is free to operate the valve. With some systems, the water level will be higher than, uh, than in the one shown, so in that instance, we need to push the clip over and move the overflow tube up to at least 25 mil above the water level. We don't want the water level overflowing down your overflow tube and into your pan. So we can adjust this simply with the clipping arrangement up or down to the desired height. 25 mil above the water line is a minimum standard. So if you have any further problems, please contact us.